Discovery News is a public forum for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions do not necessarily represent those of the HUSD. What it do, Scorpies? I'm Ray Pano. And I'm Alyssa Fernandez. And we're your anchors for this week. Let's start with this week's trivia. Uh, before we start, we just wanted to shout out Mr. Bostock's class for winning last week's trivia question. This week's question is related to Martin Luther King Jr. winning the Nobel Peace Prize. Remember to go to our Instagram page at Scorpion News to answer. Good luck. Alright, let's get into this week's announcements. The Winter Formal Dance is right around the corner, and tickets are on sale now. Buy your tickets today in the student store. The dance is on Saturday, February 1st, and prices are as follows. Now through Friday the 24th, 20 with an ASB card and 30 without. Monday the 27th through Friday the 31st, 25 with an ASB card and 35 without. So make sure to get your tickets now. Scorpions, tutoring is back. Come to the library Mondays through Thursdays from 2.40 to 4 and start second semester off on the right foot. Seniors, FAFSA applications need to be submitted by March 2nd. This helps see how much money you may be eligible to for college. Come to the CCRC room A6 to get started or get any assistance. If you submit on your own, make sure to send your FAFSA confirmation email to nicole.ball at hesperiausd.org to be entered in a drawing. Also, if you've received any college acceptance letters or emails, be sure to either drop them off at the CCRC or email them to Nicole Ball. Speaking of seniors, recently Ray and I caught up with some seniors and asked them what they wanted to accomplish before they graduate. Let's check it out. With the new year now two weeks in our rearview mirror, you're probably wondering how many people have already given up on their resolutions. This year my new resolution was trying not to cuss. Oh, sh According to the U.S. News, 80% of people give up on their resolution by the second week of February. That's a pretty sad number considering all the hope and optimism we have of turning a new leaf. If you're one of those that failed, you're in luck. There's still time to meet your goals. You just have to approach things differently. One way to do this is by finding a support group who will hold you accountable. Harvard Health Publishing recommends that you commit yourself through verbal promises. Public commitments like these allow you to feel like you have a support group who wants you to succeed. With this in mind, we decided to ask a group of seniors to make public a few things they'd like to achieve before graduating high school. Before I graduate, me and my team gonna be oak, period. Before I graduate, I wanna make the best of my senior year. Before I graduate, I wanna get my driver's license. Before I graduate, I wanna grow two inches taller. Before I graduate, I wanna show people that uh, you shouldn't drop out of high school no matter how hard you think it is and to spend as much time as you can with your friends make the best of every second count here's to 2020 the year that we lift each other up and cheer each other on we're rooting for you for scorpion news this is Alyssa fernandez signing off good luck to any of you seniors who want to accomplish your goals and here are some more answers from our instagram poll Hey Ray, is there anything you want to do before you graduate? I just want to make the best out of the rest of this year before I have to adult. What about you, Alyssa? I want to become TikTok famous. <laughs> just kidding. But I do want to have straight A's when I graduate. Anyways, back to the announcements. Work experience days have changed to every Tuesday. If you need a work permit or help find a good job, come to the library during nutrition and lunch. Coach Cox's class won this week's trivia. The answer of this week's trivia is C, 35. Martin Luther King Jr. won the Nobel Peace Prize for dynamic leadership in the civil rights movement and commitment to achieving racial justice. 
He later donated the prize money to help further the movement. Let us all look at Dr. King's examples as an inspiration to be our best. With that said, let's take a quick commercial break. Do you ever find yourself completing assignments an hour before they're due? Or do you ever find yourself doing anything during the last minute? Then have no fear, the procrastination patch is here. From the same people that brought you the nicotine patch, the procrastination patch will stop you from procrastinating, and you may even lose some weight. Side effects include procrastination, aggressive behavior, nausea, vomiting, bleeding of the toes, collapsed lung, diabetes, hearing loss, lizard morphing, acid tears, unusual urges for three-day-old spinach, and certain death. So ask your doctor if the procrastination patch is for you. The Fitum Club is sponsoring a clothing drive and they're asking for any unwanted clothing you may have. Bring your items to room P21 during nutrition break or lunch now through January 30th. The Science Club will have meetings every Friday during lunch in room E13. Come, come one, come all. Our Christian club on campus, the Light Club, will be meeting every Wednesday in room E10 during lunch. All are welcome. The Ski and Snowboard Club meet in room P P15 on the second and fourth of every month during lunch. If you're interested, make sure to check it out. Otaku has a Super Smash Brothers tournament. Sign up with a friend in Mr. Anderson's room N27. It's a dollar each. One more thing, Spirit Week is next week. Monday is PJ Day, Tuesday is Disney Gear Day, Wednesday is Dress to Impress, Thursday is Throwback Thursday, and Friday is Class Colors. But feel free to wear Scorpion gear to show your spirit. Freshmen's colors are red, sophomores are blue, juniors are yellow, and seniors are purple. All right, guys, that's it for the announcements. We're sending it over to Sam in sports. This is Ray Pano and Alyssa Fernandez signing, signing off. off. Hey Scorpions, my name is Sam and I'm going to be your sports anchor for this week's broadcast. So let's get into it. First off, I just want to give a huge congratulations to the boys and girls basketball teams and the boys soccer team as they both handled their business yesterday with wins against Sultana. So great job, Scorpions. The track and field team is starting tryouts. Meet Coach Gilbert down at the track after school today through Friday to try out and get in shape if you're interested. Attention all girls interested in playing volleyball. Training will begin Monday, January 27th at 2.45 p.m. They will meet at the cycling room next to the upper cafeteria. You must have a physical on file and bring the stamp green card in order to participate. See Coach, Coach Bearswell in room S30 if you have any questions. If you're interested in joining the boys' tennis team, please come down to the tennis courts after school today through Friday. Boys and girls basketball and boys soccer are playing Oak Hills here tomorrow, while girls soccer is playing at Oak. So make sure to show your support. Plus Wrestling is playing today and Saturday at Apple Valley. And speaking of wrestling, we made a segment to honor Hesperia's own Alexa Macias. Roll the clip. wanted to wrestle since sixth grade so I think just from there and then like my dad was like a big influence and all that um probably just like when it comes to wrestling a guy they're like a bit more stronger than me it was good um I felt like I felt Oh, like pretty good because I was like felt more comfortable wrestling girls than guys. I got third for my first third. It was nice. Like I thought it was be weird at first, but they all got used to me being here. Mm. I think I just like I want to get better. I want to make it to like a higher level. Good job, Alexa, and that's going to be it for this week's broadcast. This has been your host, Samuel Enriquez, signing off.